even though I don't want to be. I'm just off to my psychiatrist appointment this morning. I'm supposed to go tomorrow, but I called yesterday in a bit of a panic, so his receptionist changed the appointment to this morning. Last time I changed my appointment, a really bad thing happened, so I don't... I'm scared to even get out of the car, but it's 9.30 in the morning, so I should be okay, and... I'd planned on vlogging this morning, but my family was way too loud, so I'm just going to film randomly throughout the day, and if I get enough footage, then I'll just put it together and show you guys, because my life is so interesting. <laughs> Alright, that's all from me for now, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye! <laughs> stupid and I say it's stupid because I get completely out of breath and then I can't even talk to you properly so I don't really understand the point of this the last time I left the house was probably the last time I went to an appointment um, unless you count going out to the letterbox to tell you the truth the last few Weeks and months have been really difficult, but that's just a part of my life and recovery life. I'm sure a lot of people understand. Like I can hear my heart beating. <laughs> so I'm gonna head into this appointment. I've been avoiding for weeks and see how I go. I just hope he doesn't hate me. Hello. I don't know how to say this stuff. I can't, for the life of me, remember what I said this morning in the car before my psychiatrist appointment. But I'm just going to try and give you an update on the day and my plans for the rest of the week. Feeling pretty good right now trying to get this out all quickly before my family gets home from school and work and all that garbage because once they're home it's filming is out of the question because they just like are so loud so went to my psychiatrist appointment he was very very frustrated that I had not come to previous appointments I just did not know how to I couldn't go. I was stuck at home in bed and I couldn't move. That's a story for another day. And I appreciate him always being so understanding of me, even when I let him down time and time and time again. But he also does things that upsets me and I really struggle to tell him. And he's like, I hope you can tell me when you feel upset by something that I do if I upset you and I always say yes I'll tell you but I don't always I do sometimes though which is an improvement I suppose then that appointment finished at 10 30 he always promptly finishes he promptly starts sort of and finishes on time every time then my next appointment was at 2 and I thought I was okay with waiting four and a half hours. I wasn't. So I emailed my therapist and said that I really don't feel like waiting around. Um, so could we, could you see me earlier or like something? Was able to switch, 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 switch some things around so I could come an hour earlier so I didn't have to wait. But in between waiting to see her, I had a nap. It felt like five minutes, but I'm pretty sure I napped from about 11 to one. No, it was 11 to 12, 12.30 or something when she, call, she called me and that woke me up and I was like, I don't think she could tell I'd been asleep, but I was like, yeah, hello, like, <laughs> I haven't been napping in the car. Also, it's cold here in Brisbane at the moment, like, 
I think it's cold, some people don't. And I was suffocating in that car. I don't know if it was like lack of airflow, but I like woke up and I was all sweaty and gross and ugh. anyway. So I went to my appointment an hour earlier, which means the appointment that she switched with the person before me went after me. So we did finish like promptly at two, but this appointment, she, she always wants to have a goal in our appointments. Like I would love to just go and talk about crap, like actual crap, just stuff that doesn't even really mean anything because it's easier to talk about stuff that doesn't make you feel something than the stuff that does make you feel something. And the stuff that does make you feel something, that's the stuff she always wants to talk about. At the moment, she wants to talk about me doing an outpatient program, but I don't meet the requirements for that outpatient program. So she wants to talk also about a short-term admission, like a medical admission to hospital to get my BMI up to where it needs to be. Something I don't want to do. Not because I don't want my BMI to get higher, but because I don't want to go into hospital. That's what I don't want. To get to that, I have to go see my GP. So I haven't seen my GP for a long time. I actually couldn't even tell you how long it's been. So tomorrow, the plan is, <laughs> the plan is tomorrow I'm going to see my GP. I really don't want to like, unless you know my GP, which I'd say a few of you watching this will, unless you know her, you don't understand. Like she is lovely. She's like one of the most beautiful, kind, understanding, patient GPs I've ever met. The people she has to deal with. You have to have a lot of patience. And that's obviously not why I don't want to see her. I don't want to see her because I don't want her to send me to hospital. And she usually does. I, like, not that I think that I'm physically unwell. That's not my concern. She just, in my case, I feel like she overreacts or jumps the gun and I just don't want to do hospital. Anyway, so my therapist is meeting me at my GP tomorrow to go in with me, which terrifies me because what if I can't get there by nine o'clock and I'm late and I make a fool of myself and all that crap, which really doesn't matter if I'm running a little bit late. That's just me, punctual Brie. That does not rhyme. My ankle keeps cracking. Um, I also worry when I have someone come to an appointment with me, it's kind of like I feel this pressure to show up or to stay. So if my GP does send me to the hospital, I kind of have to go because there's someone with me and it's like I can't just run away. When I go to my GP by myself and I, she puts me in the ambulance and sends me off to the hospital. It's not a big deal because you shouldn't do this, children. But I just like it sometimes. And yeah, when someone's with me, I can't just do that. And again, going back to hospital and admissions and recovery, and it's not that I don't want to get better. It's that I don't want to go through the pain that I feel when I'm going through that recovery process or that refeeding process, the gaining weight process, it's really painful and scary and I wish I could just skip that process and just be physically better and obviously like being mentally better is a, a whole nother thing but I just want to be better. So that's me. <laughs> that was my day. I'm home now like I said. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Try not to think too hard about tomorrow. That's my goal for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to tidy my room, distract my mind, maybe watch some Disney, edit this video, and put it up so you all know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> all of you watching this. And that's about it. Also, I'm going to add, it's so much more fun filming a video while standing up, even though my tripod quite just isn't, this is me standing up. It just quite doesn't do it. I need to be a little bit shorter. <laughs>
I hope that you all are having a wonderful day, week, whatever. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. This is my outfit of the day. Stand on my bed so you can see. This is me on my bed. Ooh, I'm jumping on my bed. I haven't done this in a long time. This is fun. I'm going to do this more often. Yeah.